Good day students! So today we're going to tackle another significant topic in Physical Education 1. It is entitled Physical Fitness Components. There are numerous health advantages to physical fitness. Regular exercise and physical activity promote strong muscles and bones. It improves respiratory, cardiovascular health, and overall health. Staying active can also help you maintain a healthy weight, reduce your risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and reduce your risk for some cancers. And that's where the role of physical fitness comes in. What is physical fitness? Refers to the state of one's physical health, a physically fit person can perform his daily activities very efficient without getting easily tired. It is a state of health and well-being and more specifically, the ability to perform aspects of sports, exercise, occupation, and daily activities. Physical fitness is generally achieved through proper nutrition. The ability to function efficiently and effectively without injury. To enjoy leisure, to be healthy, to resist disease, and to cope with emergency situations. Let us define now what is fitness. Generally, defined as the ability of a person to live a happy and well-balanced life. It embraces the physical, intellectual, social, and spiritual aspects of a person's life. It is also a condition in which an individual has sufficient energy to avoid fatigue and enjoy life. While physically fit means if you are physically fit, you are free from illness and able to function efficiently and effectively, to enjoy leisure and to cope with emergencies. Physical fitness is defined as a set of attributes that people have or achieve that relates to the ability to perform physical activity. Let us now move on to the physical fitness components. There are two kinds of physical fitness component. The first one is the health-related fitness component. Health-related fitness component is function of the body's adaption to exercise. It could be developed and maintained through a regular and proper exercise program. The health-related components of physical fitness were of great importance because they make an individual fit, functional, and productive for everyday living. The motor-related components made an individual successful in athletics or motor developed activities. The first health-related fitness component is the cardiovascular fitness or also known as aerobic capacity. Heart and lung endurance or cardiovascular endurance is the ability to exercise the entire body for long periods of time. It requires a strong heart, healthy lungs, and clear blood vessels to supply the body with oxygen. The sample activity are running, swimming, and aerobic dance. The second one is the muscular strength. It is the amount of force you can put forth with your muscles. It is often measured by how much weight you can lift. People with strength have fewer problems with back aches and can carry out their daily tasks efficiently. The sample activities are push-ups, curl-ups, and flex arm half. The health-related fitness component number three is the muscular endurance. It is the ability to use the muscles which are attached to the bones, many times without getting tired. People with good muscular endurance are likely to have better posture, have fewer back problems, and be better able to resist fatigue than people who lack muscular endurance. The sample activities are long distance run, 3 minute step test, and bicep curls. The next one is the flexibility. It is the ability to use your joints fully. You are flexible when the muscles are long enough and the joints are free enough to allow movement. People with good flexibility have fewer sore and injured muscles. Stretching before and after activities will help to improve flexibility. The sample activities to be done are human rocker, supine lie leg lift, side lying, and knee hug. 
The last one is the body composition. It refers to the preposition of lean body mass to fat body mass. The percentage of body weight that is fat compared to other body tissue, such as bone and muscle. People who have a high percentage of fat are more likely to be ill and have a higher death rate than lean people. Exercise and eating the right foods in the proper amounts can improve body composition. Before we proceed to the skill-related fitness component, let us have a recap on what are under the health-related fitness component. Under the health-related physical fitness components are cardiovascular fitness or also known as aerobic capacity, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. Let us now move on to the second classification of physical fitness component. The skill-related fitness component or also known as performance-related fitness component. This includes training to improve speed, agility, balance, coordination, power, and reaction time. It refers to the quality of one's movement skills. Skill or performance-related fitness involves skills that will enhance one's performance in athletic or sport events. The first component is the agility. The ability to change the position of your body quickly and to control body movements. The sample activities to be done are hexagon, shuttle run, and zigzag run. The next one is balance. It is the ability to keep an upright posture while either standing still or moving. Good balance is essential in many activities like skating, surfing, skiing, and gymnastics. Also note that there are two types of balance. The first one is static balance. It's the ability to maintain one's equilibrium while the body is in motion. Sample activities are bicycling, foam balance beam, using balance board. While the other type of balance is the dynamic balance. It is the ability to maintain one's equilibrium while the body is in motion. The sample activities to be done are standing balance, flamingo stand, and lateral standing position. The next component is coordination. It involves the ability to link various moments using your senses together with your body parts. It is the integration of an eye, hand, and foot movements. This component is necessary for success in such sport as baseball, softball, tennis, golf, and basketball. The sample activities in order to improve are paper juggling and hurdles. The fourth one is the power. It is the ability to release maximum force use strength quickly. It is the ability to perform with strength at a rapid pace. Strength and speed are both involved in power. Football players, swimmers, shot putters, disgust throwers, and high jumpers are examples of athletes who typically have a high degree of power. The sample activities in order to enhance your power are standing long jump, and chest pass. Speed refers to the ability to perform movements covering a distance in a short period of time. Speed is a very important factor in many sports and activities. Short runs are used to evaluate speed. The sample activities are 40 meter sprint, 100 meter run, and swimming. The last one is reaction time. It is the amount of time it takes to start a movement once your senses signal the need to move. People with good reaction time can usually start quickly in track and swimming or react quickly in ping pong or karate. And those are the skill-related fitness components. Now, let us have a recap. Under the skill-related physical fitness components are Agility Balance Coordination Power Speed And Reaction Time Let us now proceed on how to calculate your body mass index. 
What is body mass index? It is a measure of body fat based on height and weight that applies to adult men and women. The BMI formula is BMI equals weight in kilograms over height in meter squared. This is the scale to define and measure whether you are overweight, underweight, or obese. For example, I got a weight of 65 kilograms, and on the other hand, I got 1.67 meter in height. Therefore, I just put squared, and to calculate it, I have to multiply 1.67 meter by itself and it is equivalent to 2.79 meter. And I just have to find the quotient of 65 divided by 2.79, and it is equal to 23.3. And going back to the scale, I am in a range of 18.5 to 24.99. Therefore, the conclusion is I am in normal weight and that would be the end of our today's discussion i hope you learned and enjoyed the topic keep safe and god bless